Hey everyone, today I think this is going to be a pretty cool video. Look at what we found today. We found Homemaker's Boston Brown Bread from the 1950s. This is so cool. We got brown bread, and if you look at the picture, it's raisin bread. It doesn't say raisin bread, but it is. This is really cool. This can has some very heavily bulged edges. There's going to be a lot of pressure in here. Look at that. Lots of pressure inside this can. This is going to be pretty awesome to open up. And right here we got the other one. This, I'm not sure if that's the same company, but this is all that will come up these days when you try Googling this item. But it's basically the same thing. They're both raisin bread. The only difference is one of them is like 70 something years old. Now this one doesn't have any bulge on it whatsoever. And if we compare the ingredients, that's pretty interesting. Over all those years, it didn't change too much at all. The old one, look at the ingredients. Wheat flour, buttermilk, molasses, raisins, brown sugar, baking soda, and salt. It's so plain and simple. There's like, there's not no preservatives or anything in it. And the new one, I'm surprised, it's really not that bad. Yes, it has more ingredients than back in the day, but not that bad. Ingredients. Water, whole wheat flour, molasses, dextrose, whole grain rye flour, raisins, whey, germinated yellow corn meal, baking soda, buttermilk, salt corn oil, and it has tribal, yeah, tribal amounts of fat and cholesterol. So it's really, I don't see anything that bad. Dextrose is just another kind of sugar additive to make it taste better and it's really not that bad. Yes, they added more things from back in the day, and we're just assuming that these might be the same company, but they're, they're the, almost the same exact product. We're going to open both of these things up today side by side, and we're going to do exactly what it says. We're going to put them in the oven. Both of them have similar instructions, so we're going to go ahead and cook them. So both of them, we got to open both ends and push it out, it says. So I'll give you guys a close-up look at both of these cans, and then we'll get started. All right, everybody, a close-up look at these cans. There's the ingredients again. One pound. Produced in Maine, Portland, Maine. It's only about two hours away from me. Look at that back in the day. 25 cents. With inflation, the other can right there I bought at Walmart for just under $3. From an old new New England recipe. From an old New England recipe popular for generations. And I'll show you guys all this. Graphics. Hot brown bread. Yeah, they both say about the same time in the oven... This says heat in top of double boiler. Does it mean broiler? I'm not exactly sure what that means there, but we'll put in the oven just like we'll follow the other one's instructions because it seems a little easier or better to do. So today we'll have to open both ends of the can. You guys know I usually only open the bottom to preserve the can's looks when it's up on my display shelf in the background. So let's get a quick look at the brand new one. See, the brand new one has an expiration date. The old ones were not required to have it. But assuming the old one does not have a um, zip code on, labeled on it, it's most likely older than 1963, so probably from the 50s. And this one has all the nutrition facts, none of which were required back in the day. And same instructions, open both ends of the can. And then heating instructions, see it's basically the same. This one is just telling you maybe five more minutes at 300 in the oven. And we're going to go do that. 300, that seems like a lot for bread. Or is this just like, is this uncooked bread? Is this like dough that's in here? I don't know. It's not actually. I've opened this before and ate it right out of the can. Yeah, okay, there's ingredients for the sandwich. But we're going to do the baked one for half an hour just to make it a little safer because who knows what could be growing in the other one after all these years so right now we're gonna go ahead and grab the can opener off the shelf grab two separate plates and get these out of their cans even though I intend on cooking these and eating them I want to use two separate plates just in case this one comes out of there just being so nasty all right so we got this we got a 
gonna grab my extension cord. Alrighty, everyone. Time to open these up. First, we will be opening the new one from both ends. I gotta wipe it down, even though it's not... Oh, wow, it actually did go by the Best Buy date, but I don't care. It's a couple months past the date. I guess that's been sitting on my shelf for a while. I'm just rubbing it right now on my pants to get the dust off it. No big deal, it's a Best Buy date. Many canned foods are still perfectly fine many years beyond that date. All right, let's zoom on in. Get a good look at it. One, two, three. Oh, that had some pressure come out of it. I like that sound. Most cans don't make that sound. Ooh, that smells good. That, it doesn't smell like fresh raisin bread that you'd buy at the store, like in a loaf. Uh, it smells, it, it smells very raisiny, like a box of raisins. All right, so see, you're obviously never getting that out of there, especially with the ribs of the can that it's holding on to. So that's why you gotta push it from the other side. good push out of this can that's gonna be hard I wonder how hard it'll oh there we go wonder how easy or difficult it'll be to get the new one out all right so we got that looking pretty good now time to open the old one this has a lot of pressure in it but thankfully I don't think it's a product that can spray across the room like in times past one two three Whoa! I felt that so hard against my arm, that pressure come out of there. Boom! Oh, look at it. See that? It's, it's, it's like a smiley face inside there. So what made those bumps right there? Let's give it a sniff. Definitely sort of smells the same, but... Yeah, something's musty and off, but we'll still cook it and give it a little bite. Oh, wow. This one's sliding right out. Oh, no. Oh, man. I wish I knew it was going to slide out so nice. I would have opened it from the bottom side. Oops. And look at the pressure here. It went back in. That's why it slid out so nice. This old can has zero ribs. Look at that. Nothing to hold it in there. Now take a look at it. After all these years, it doesn't look that bad. Not too different at all. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. All right, so we're going to bring both of these upstairs now, and we are going to preheat the oven. So, but first, we got to do a close-up sniff of both of these. All right, this one has like some sort of mustiness that it tickles your nose as you're smelling it. And I'm having a lot of flashbacks of the military sea ration MREs we were opening up that had lots of bread and like rum cakes and other things in it. That's what that smells like to me. But I'll feel much better about eating it once we give it a little cooking. All right, one of the biggest concerns about old canned foods like this is the possibility of them being canned or preserved incorrectly. Considering that this was professionally packaged, usually a issue like botulism spores are from non-acidic foods that were produced in your own house in mason jars and stuff. This was professionally packed and extremely under pressure, meaning it never leaked. So in the conditions it was probably packaged in, there's probably no risk. But... Cooking it at 300 degrees is enough time, or with, okay, 300 degrees is more than enough temperature, and 20-something minutes is more than enough time to kill whatever might be on it, especially on the edges of it. But I don't think it would have that in the first place anyways, because it was packaged so nicely. All right, everyone, we're up in the kitchen now, and I think I've only used this oven portion of this once and it was to season cast iron cookware. It's because I use this for cooking basically all my meals, my pizzas, anything I make basically fits in here. So, 
That's why it's in pristine condition. Let's see if I can figure out how to start it. Bake. 300, there we go. Easy. I thought I was gonna look stupid for a moment there. So we got these, and by any chance, is this safe? Yep, it says dishwasher, oven, microwave, oven safe. Yep, this whole thing can go in there. But it did say to put them in aluminum foil, didn't it? I got a little look at the can while this thing's heating up. Yes, it did say that. It said that on the new can, but I'll do it for both. said wrap it it didn't just say cover it and we're almost heated up today's a very hot day so not the best idea doing it today outside right now it's 94 degrees and the house is struggling to stay cool in here should have waited until tonight but at least it's not something that's going to take super long to cook we're already up to 190 in there won't be long before we're preheated and we'll put it in there with a 20 minute or 25 minute timer all right, everyone, we're all preheated. I hope we don't burn it. It's gonna go in for exactly 25 minutes. Wow, 300 doesn't even feel that hot. So yeah, I think we'll be good. We will be back in 25 minutes. All right, everyone, it's been exactly 25 minutes and this oven is making this room hot. All right, I guess we're just gonna shut it off. Yeah, that's very hot. All right, everyone, I gave this a bit of time to cool down. The plate's still too hot to pick up. Which one is this? A new one, right? It smells really good. It's still very warm. This one's hotter. The, the old one's like more dense. It's retaining heat. This one's very hot compared to this one. Cause this one here, see it's got like bigger air bubbles in it. This one's more dense. I guess, is it more dense for, cause it's higher quality? Or they added more of a certain something? Cause this one here is super heavy. This one's super light. It's got a lot of air in it. These days they're just trying to sell you air instead of actual product. All right, let's get this over to the table and we'll take a slice off that and give it a good bite. Still too hot to bring over to the table without a pop holder. Let's get a knife. All right, let's cut these open and see what we got. Going in almost an inch or so. Oh. The new one's awesome. The old one, oh, it's got like this vinegary, a very acidic smell. It makes your nose want to just sneeze. We'll give it a taste, but is it just the middle? More in the middle of it, so I, I, I don't really want to eat this one. It, this has more a consistency of like a brownie. Hmm. I'm not eating any more of it, but 
I ate a little bit. I'm going to swallow it. Oh my gosh, that aftertaste is horrible. This one's good though. You can definitely still taste what it's supposed to be, but of course after 70 years it's gone bad. You can tell what it is, and in an emergency maybe it would keep you alive, but it would be a struggle eating that whole thing. It's bad. You'd have to cover it up with something. Now what would be good to do with this? So I'm going to eat this. Maybe make it into sandwiches or something? I'm not sure. You know, videos like this, when we actually have something good to eat, I only make one of these a day. Like if I'm doing old food, really nasty things, I, I'll make like three videos in a day. But these, I actually want to not waste it. So before we make our next video that involves a good amount of food, I gotta eat this one first. So we'll do maybe more videos tomorrow of this type of thing. Well, it held up a pretty long time, but I don't think it's good anymore. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. All right, this fuse is gonna be slow because it's a sparkler. What? Yeah, here we go. I expected more, but that made a brief mushroom cloud. I wish that was on camera. It doesn't look like it did anything to the bread. It wasn't explosive at all. It just blew the top off. That was pretty cool. I want you guys to see what it did in the sky. We can actually literally reload this and do it again. I, I actually expected it to have enough power to go boom, but guess not. Maybe this time we'll put a brick on top of it so it can't open.
going to tip over. Maybe a uh, smaller rock. And I got my lighter. Yep. That was more epic than the first one. And hey, look at that. The rock missed the plate. I thought the rock maybe would have fallen and broke my plate. That was more epic than the first one. I thought the rock maybe would have fallen and broke my plate, but it did not, thankfully. I love this plate. And look, it did actually rupture. It did blow it apart. So yes, we did successfully do what I tried to do. And the rest of this, let's go feed this to someone very deserving. That's right, it's the toilet. Who guessed it? All right. Now, it may have to soften up, but I, cause I don't think it's gonna be able to take these hard chunks. Maybe it will. Wow, the bread is still warm from the oven. It feels like it's getting gooey now that it's cooling down. I'm breaking it up with my hands just to make sure. I removed all the wooden sticks. That's one dirty plate, look at that. That's one of the dirtiest we've ever had. One, two, three. Ooh, it actually took it in one. Awesome. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it spit up a little bit. Two, three. Ooh, two, three. Two, three. All right, gave it another flush just to make sure it's got clearance all the way to the septic tank that's gonna start eating it. It's so hot out, I was only out there for maybe 10 minutes filming that stuff and I'm already sweating. I guess I'm not dressed the right way either for the heat. The smell of wet, soggy fireworks is not pleasant. We'll let that soak for a while also. We'll let the dishwasher figure out the rest of that. It's been soaking now over an hour. Oh, well, look at that. It dissolved almost all of that. A quick rinse. We'll probably let it soak again. Look at that. Don't even have to scrub in there. Maybe this time we'll put a little soap in there. We gotta get the water really hot again. Try to preserve the outside without damaging it and also without removing the label. A lot of labels that are this old are so brittle, good luck even trying to remove it. Now we're mixing some soap in there. We'll let it soak again for maybe another hour or whatever. And I'll top it off when the suds go down. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great night.